What if Naruto was a mega prodigy part 3? Let's go. Naruto at this point is 5 year old, having already graduated the academy, the Shisui just now finishing the academy, and now they would already get their Jonin sensei, as there would be a special team of just two. Well, two Genin with a Jonin teacher. And at least a few of you actually guessed right in that the Jonin sensei is none other than Jiraiya, sensei of Minato. Since he wasn't really involved in the third shinobi war, so yeah, he wasn't really busy as a shinobi. So he reason decided to make him the Jonin teacher of the two best prodigies of Konoha. Well, the youngest prodigies. The two Genin were just supposed to meet on a training field, instructions by Hiruzen. And then, five minutes late, Jiraiya came from behind a tree. Naruto already knew Jiraiya, and Shisui had heard stories about him, so they weren't strangers or anything, but they weren't really close. Now first what they did was of course introduce themselves, but they kinda knew who they were, so that didn't take long. And then they did a bell test, still on the same day by the way. Jiraiya explained what they had to do. Though at this point, he didn't lie about the fact that there was two bells because there was no team of three here. It was just two Genin. So there was no trickery in this. Their goal was just to get the two bells from Jiraiya. Be it how, however they might do it, they just have to get the bells. Shisui was the first one to jump forward and dash towards Jiraiya, already having activated his two Tomoe Sharingan, which he can control to a pretty good level, but still needs that little bit of extra training to master the three Tomoe. Whilst he hasn't locked it, he can control it very well, so for now he's sticking with his second Tomoe, and it also uses less chakra, so. Anyways, back to the fight. Shisui starts hand in hand combat with Jiraiya. But right now, Jiraiya is much faster, though Shisui can foresee his moves. Then Naruto decides to do something. With his incredible accuracy, he throws shuriken and kunai, which he misses on purpose for Shisui to get more opportunities to hit and actually does land some hits. Naruto moves in closer to the fight, makes a whole bunch of shadow clones, each one equipped with a kunai heading to Jiraiya from all sorts of different directions. Up from the ground, jumping from the sky, dashing from the side. Jiraiya is managing, but slowly being pushed into the corner. Well, an imaginary corner. Until he uses a substitution jutsu, where he's now standing at the top of a tree, branch in front of the others. The others being just Naruto and Shisui. Before the pervy sage could even say anything, to mock the two, Naruto was already up there next to Jiraiya. S so fast! Jiraiya dodged the kunai that Naruto threw at him. But then there was already kicks coming his way, which he had to dodge too. Some even blocking, as Jiraiya's speed was not his forte. Shisui joined in on the action, and slowly but surely, Naruto and Shisui worked as a team, and then finally, were able to grab Jiraiya's bells. Now, of course Jiraiya wasn't going super serious mode, but those two small kids were still able to push him into a corner and take his two bells in not that long of a time. They were definitely not to be played with, around with, or messed about. Now, Jiraiya was very satisfied with the level of skill his two new students had, and after only a short half week of doing the ranked missions, they moved on to something harder, already a C rank mission, but Hiruzen, who you gotta remember is still in office as Hokage, decided to add one Shunin to the team, as to not have too small of a team, especially in these war times, it can never hurt to have a little bit of a stronger team than necessary. So another Shunin was added, and then they went on the mission. Nothing important. Nothing crazy. It was to fight a group of five low Chunin level fighters. They were still rather young, still in their teens, 
as other villages had been recruiting anyone who was able to fight even though they were still considered children. So these quote-unquote Chunin were no more than 16 or 17 years old. Yet Naruto and his team, or rather Jiraiya's team, took him out like it was nothing. Now Naruto did look a little bit disgusted, as he had never seen, well he had seen, but never really been that involved in someone's death before. The only time previously was when Minato rescued him from that one shinobi, but here, Naruto was one of the main reasons that these Chunin lost their lives, and this time he did it willingly, not because he was being taken as a hostage, but because he was following orders, but he did have a choice. Naruto was conflicted. If this is what war is like, then it's really not good. Naruto is very book smart, but hasn't had that many actual experiences in his life. Anyways, they're finished with their mission now and report back. They do quite a few more C rank missions. Some are just guarding outposts, some are actually purposely fighting, and some don't have anything to do with war. Those are Naruto's favorites, since those often are just actually helping people instead of fighting a useless war. The war had now been going on for about two years and didn't seem to end. Minato's reputation had grown further and further, with some villages even having an all out command about Minato specifically, that when he arrived at a battlefield, everyone, no matter how strong or who they were, was to leave immediately and run for their lives, even if Minato would easily catch up to them. Perhaps even just a few shinobi could survive to tell the tale. Minato was feared amongst the nations. However, Naruto and Shisui were also not to be overlooked. They had grown in recognition inside the leaf, especially by the younger people, who knew them as idols. The boys wanted to be as strong as them, and someday perhaps save the village, or even save Naruto Shisui. And the girls? Well, <laughs> the girls, if you know what I mean. However, for now, neither Naruto nor Shisui was interested in girls. Meanwhile, Naruto and Shisui sometimes hung out with Itachi, who had just now started training, but quickly found success similar to Shisui. Now it was time for Naruto and Shisui's first low B rank mission. The hardest one they had ever done so far was a mid high C rank mission. Now as this mission, at least officially speaking, was out of Naruto and Shisui's tier or leak, however you want to say it. Hiruzen decided to add Kushina to the team because she herself could basically do the mission as she was a highly recognized Jonin. So those four could definitely do the mission. By the way, at this point, Naruto and Shisui are a little older than five and a half years old. Their mission, a group of rock shinobi gathered up likely in the dozens and were probably planning a strategy to take over territory, which the Leaf did not want to do, or allow. So, their mission was to take them out. When Shisui rushed in like usually, this time the other shinobi, the enemies, seemed to be prepared, grabbed Shisui by the leg, and tried to punch him, though Naruto is fast enough to take the blow for Shisui, and they both fell to the ground. However, Naruto with a wound, Shisui without one. Meanwhile, Shisui was now blaming himself. So much so, he was blaming himself for the fact that his only friend, his only real friend, just got hurt because of him, because of his actions. The one Jodin who had just hurt Naruto slowly walked towards the two kids with a kunai in his hands. 
basically threatening Naruto without any words. And at this moment, all the grief stored up in Shisui turned his Sharingan. First, it turned it on, and then it spiraled into a Mangekyo Sharingan. Without meaning to, Shisui's eye, as if doing it itself, sent off an Amaterasu, burning the Jonin in front of him to death, therefore saving Naruto, but in a pretty brutal and gruesome way. Kushina would rush to Naruto's help and Jiraiya would hold off the shinobi. Meanwhile, Shisui knocked out from the shock and the drain it took on his body, evolving to the Mangekyo at such a young age with not that big of chakra reserves, it completely depleted them. Combined with the emotions and the shock he felt, he was knocked out for multiple hours. Kushina did the best quick healing jutsu that she knew, and then moved back to Jiraiya, now helping him to fight the shinobi. Naruto stood up, not feeling the pain as much anymore, and rushed to the front line, now helping his mother and sensei. The rest of the mission went okay, though, as previously mentioned, Shisui was still out cold. Naruto himself carried Shisui on his back back to the village and laid him down on his bed in his own room. Shisui recovered, and a day later they were called to the Hokage's office along with Kushina and Jiraiya. Hiruzen told them after hearing Kushina's report that clearly the two Genin aren't ready for these kind of missions yet, so they would have to have more experience and training before they do. And Shisui would definitely have to learn to hold back and not to dash forward in every mission and every scenario. And he would definitely take that personally, as anyone would. I mean, he was the reason that his friend was hurt. And it could have gone very wrong if two Jonin weren't present. So now the two Genin enter kind of a training period, but also a period where they mature as people, not just as shinobi. They kind of have a transition from a child to a teenager, which is still pretty early for their age. So they're definitely not gonna be an adult yet. I mean, at this point, they're not even quite six years old. However, soon enough, when it comes around, Naruto and Shisui would be able to take the tuning exams. Shisui and Naruto, while still pretty young, definitely have the abilities and more of a tuning. By the way, in case you forgot, Naruto does not have the nine tails in the story, at least not now, just to keep in mind. Anyways, back to the tuning exams. So I'm gonna say that they were actually allowed to participate as a team of two, as there's no technically a need for them to be exactly three. They just have to be a team, so two should be fine. The first exam is pretty easy for them. Naruto actually gets nine out of the nine first questions correct. And then of course, when sticking around to the last one, they're automatically passing to the next exam. Shisui with the Sharingan just had to copy other people, so he didn't have any problems, as he could hide his Sharingan pretty easily. And of course, also he had other methods of copying, but as you probably know, there's no need to actually copy, you just need to stick around till the end. Now the second exam starts, the concept of the Forest of Death is introduced to them, and they begin. Naruto and Shisui easily pick off the first team that enters the Forest of Death, basically pull them to the side, take their scroll, well, Naruto takes the scroll while Shisui is busy cleaning up the team, and then they easily, well before the one hour mark, get to the tower and win. Well, it's not technically a competition, so they don't win anything, but they definitely pass the exam. Now, in this version, there won't be any preliminary rounds necessary since there isn't that many competitors. 
slash combatants that made it through or even participated this year so no need for preliminary rounds so now it's just the one month time skip i won't be saying exactly what happens for now just know the finals are gonna be good everybody's watching even people like minato's team kakashi obito and rin where by the way obito has not had the accident yet so in the next or maybe the episode after that we'll see how that evolves anyways that's going to be it for today's episode hope you enjoyed make sure to like subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace